How's it going, my fuzzy family? My name is Panda Hub, and welcome to my world. It is a RPG uh, slash world maker that I was provided to on Keymailer uh, .co, um, and I was uh, provided the opportunity to go ahead and try it out and uh, you know record an episode or two. And uh, let's definitely go ahead. And uh, see, you know, I've I've kind of been dabbling with it for the past what two hours, hun? Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I've made a pretty decent world. Um, I'm kind of happy with it. You know, I I like how it's turned out. It definitely has a lot of creativity in my mind. I mean, I've I've got a lot of touches, and it's still not done. But it's definitely something that. It's, uh, yeah, I'm kind of proud of, on especially on how it, it turned out. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't look like pure and utter shit to you guys, but, you know, we'll definitely go from there at that point. I call it, uh, Mirhorn. Oh my god, the lag is real. Oh, the lag is so real. Oh god. I wasn't this laggy before. I'm so sorry, everyone. Um, okay, so let's go into uh, creative mode. Um, so this is this is the other aspect of the game, which is you get to create your own worlds and post it to the Steam Workshop. Um, like I said, this is not completed just yet. Um, it still has a lot of work to do, but I definitely want to try and make this world to where it has a lot of interconnecting areas, um, and and mainly I want it to try and be a, a multi multiplayer capability um, because right here, as you can see, this section is uh, it's fucking huge. Um, just because of the fact that, I mean, the castle is supposed to be within the mountains, dark and putrid looking lands. Uh, I've got to add in some trees and stuff along the way. And then I've also got to figure out something that I'm going to be doing over in this section too. Because, you know, I can't just have all these nice, nifty old trees just sitting here for no apparent reason. You know, that would, that would just be dumb. Um, I may, may just end up having a giant ass hill right there, and then have, like, a house up there. Um, uh, have a demolished house right there, have a demolished house... Right there. Oh, nope. Calvin. You don't need that, buddy. You don't need that either. And you definitely don't need this. Oh, the power of editing. Anyways. So, um, you know... I mean, you've got these different features. You have terrain that you can work with. You can work with themes. You know, having like specific, you know, styles of what your area is going to end up looking like. Uh, demonic. Have it all evil and demonic. <laughs> or having it into a mushroom realm where it's all, you know, or have it snowy. Snowy. Clear night. Oh, so pretty. Or, uh, uh -huh. Night Blight. Or Desert. Um, Alpine Foggy, or Alpine, or Blight. Uh, let's go with Blight. Blight looks okay. Just because this just looks fucking evil right here. And this isn't even anywhere near done. Because I want this to be multiplayer capabilities. So, depending on how many players there are. 
depends on the on the outcome of uh, of what we're what we're going to be doing. And then you know, once you're all done, you basically go through the portal because I already have a quest set up in the tavern over here that you you basically return to the portal. You run back through here. You climb your happy ass all the way up through here. Look at the lovely well in the garden. Holy crap, these fences need to be fixed. I'll go ahead and put those right there for now. Woo! It is not going to look pretty at the moment. And that's a sad part, too, is I freaking took the time. You know what? I took the time to build this damn thing. I'm, I'm going to make sure that it at least looks nice. Sometimes the camera angles are a little hard to work with, I've noticed, but, you know, that's that's with any type of game. CJ, you want to say hi to the fuzzy family? Say hi! Say hi! And I apologize for the mess in the back. We're currently in the middle of trying to pack up things and also trying to clean up and, and do some laundry. So it's been kind of a crazy and hectic day so far. So, again, I do apologize. Say bye! You give them a smile? Who's that? Is that you? Is that you? Say hi! Alright, go on. Go see mommy. Hi. Hi. Oh. And I think I fucked up the road, but you know what? I, at this point, I don't care. Oh god, that fence is messed up again. No. I can't tell if it's like undoing any of my work or anything. Son. He keeps trying to go for all the stuff on my desk that are glass and breakable. Hey, he's going for all the stuff on the nightstand too. What do you want me to do? I'm going to do so much. Oh. Oh. My son is now super baby. You super baby? Oh my god. This just looks absolutely horrendous. I wish there was a way that you could end up cutting down some of the fence or at least adding like water. Because, you know, water would, would look kind of cool. Fuck it. It is going to work that way. Well, actually. Oh, God. a little bit smaller. There. Now it's it's going up. Oh shit. Um, but... 
Blah, blah. Yeah. Here to here. Okay, there we go. It's not the prettiest fix up, but it, at least it works. You know, and then I've got a little bit of an abbey over here, and I was planning on adding another, you know, portal thing over here that went into this crevice of this mountainside. And, you know, you have a, a little, it looks like that there's a little path that goes up here, but it actually is going to go over here, which I need to add color to. Is that supposed to go up that way? Oh god, so laggy. I am so sorry, everyone. Oh, CJ, are you cleaning up? Is he putting his toy away? Yeah, he put a toy back in there, I think. Okay, will do that sometimes, and then he'll take two, three more out. <laughs> And then I think I think with this one I'll end up adding uh, I think I'll end up adding another portal right here to kind of go off to another level that I'm probably going to end up making later. Um, no, let's not make it a demon portal. I'm gonna put that right there. And then I'm gonna add it. I mean, there's there's just a different variety of different things here, and that that's kind of what makes it unique. Is is I like how it's laid out because it definitely makes it seem a little bit more interesting. I mean, going through here, put up a a breakable wall like. Right there. Or no, it's not okay, put a broken one. CJ. What are you trying to reach? You trying to reach your car? Okay. What was it? Oh, he, the yeah, he wanted his giraffe half giraffe piece. Hi, buddy. Say thank you, Daddy. Anyways, um, yeah, you know, but you you end up. I mean, there's just a different variety of things. Like, right here, I'm planning on having, like, an abbey, and then you travel over here, you take the road, and you travel over to the portal, and it takes you to another place based off of what the abbey is requesting. Um, and, you know, I, I think it... I don't know. I think it's going to end up turning out pretty cool. It just needs a little bit of work, and hopefully I can connect multiple places all together that kind of, you know, works because then it has that connectivity, that adventure that, that other players can go ahead and do and that's the whole purpose of this game is, is to play with your friends, build whatever worlds you want with whatever they, they offer and provide and, you know, make sure that you have fun doing it. I mean, I've, I've been on this thing for almost two hours and that just looks fucking awesome just just like that right there I mean I, I don't know why I mean there's a lot of neon green and black and brown and gray and everything else but you know you know I've already like I said I've already got one character already set up for oh god okay that's better um, 
but you know I've I've already got this person set up. Um, you, yes, you. I have. I need vengeance, but I am not. I am not strong enough to avenge my children. They were killed by cursed skeletons that were arisen by the witch within a spiral cage far away. Please bring peace to their souls and to my mind by killing these skeleton bastards. And, you know, if you end up completing the quest, depending on how many you end up killing, um, which you already, you guys already saw as kind of a little sneak peek um, to how many there are. And like I said, I mainly want this to be more so for a multiplayer aspect. That way people have the capability of doing a multiplayer aspect and having fun with their friends, you know, and, and if people end up recording it and they end up playing this level, rock on, good on them. But, you know, if they end up completing it, thank you, adventurer. My mind can now have an evening of rest for once. You know, and, and I mean, I can give multiple, multiple quests. Um, you know, I think I'm thinking about doing just kill the skeleton king. The beast has arisen. It is causing the dead to return upon Mirhorn. Please kill the skeleton king and bring his reign to an end once and for all I have no words for items of value to express my gratitude you have saved the kingdom skeleton dance you know and, and I think I think that just looks freaking cool you know multiple quests you can have um, and you know you get experience and everything else and I, I'm sure that they'll end up adding more classes and everything else later on but for now you know I for what they do have for the game it's just it's amazing. I like it a lot. It's definitely my style of game. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try and do anything with this. I think I'm just going to have it more for like appearance from a distance. Like, oh, there's a castle in the background. Um, mainly have this, uh, the, the village of Mirhorn and the, uh, the capital, you know, the, the, the city of the dead. Um, which is, you know, pretty commonly used, but, I mean, take a look at this. This is, this is just wraiths and skeleton bastards, and more skeleton bastards and, and wraiths, and you're standing on that, t uh, that other one. You shouldn't be doing that. And, you know, you've got the skeleton king back here, and you've got her, and you've got another one standing on another one, and you've, I mean, you've... Holy shit, I seem to have done this multiple times. Anyways. So, yeah, I mean, you've you've got the skeleton, and you've got the army of darkness, more or less. Unfortunately, you're not equipped with a shotgun and a chainsaw, but, you know, you definitely, you definitely uh, have the decent capability of, of going and, and fighting the army of darkness and saving the village of Mirhorn. Um, but then I'll end up adding in a couple of other little levels and stuff later on in the future. And maybe I can get a couple of friends to somehow buy this game or, you know, be able to get it. That way they can join in with me. I think it'd be kind of cool. Um, but, again, this is all the time. Let's see. This is all the time that I have for this episode today. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. 
also go ahead and leave a description down below on in or at least a link in Steam to where you can go ahead and find Mirrorhorn if you're if you are playing this game or if you haven't you know happened to come across this game I'll go ahead and leave a link down below in the Steam community that way you can go ahead and find it yourself. Um, but also if you haven't joined the Fuzzy Family just yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Punch, slap, tickle it, kiss it, whatever you want to do as long as it is PG and legal. And until next time, my fuzzy family, I will see you in the next video. Peace out, my fuzzy family.